Good morning and welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV of Frederick. My name is Callie Say and I'm here at TransWest and Horse Trailer Sales. So for those of you that are looking for a trailer, we have new and used options available on the lot. We are Cimarron and Logan dealers, so if you're looking for a new one, those are the two brands that we carry. But if you're looking for a used trailer, we have a wide variety of used ones that have either come in on trade or that we've bought out right. So we've got a lot of options sitting here on the lot. We've also got a lot of stuff on order. This trailer that I've got right behind me is one that's currently available. It is a 2022 Logan Coach Bullseye three horse gooseneck. This is one of our closet tack models and our closet tacks have been incredibly popular. It seems like a lot of people like those more upgraded tack rooms on these runaround trailers. You get the ability to have your tack room separate from your front dressing room, which means if you're wanting to use it as a little bit more of a separate area, not have to smell your tack if you're throwing a, a bed up top to, to take a nap or something like that, you're not gonna have to smell your saddle blankets. So these closet tacks have really, really gained a lot of popularity over the last couple years and we carry a lot of them in stock in either a three or a four. So these Logan Coach Bullseyes are one of our really popular models. We tend to carry a lot of these versus they're their, they're their mid, mid tier model. People really like the upgrades on these over the crossfires without having to step into a completely custom riot model. So the Logan trailer itself is a galvanized steel frame with aluminum sheeting and that galvanized steel is not like black steel you're not going to have the rust issues that you have on black steel so they actually offer a lifetime loaded warranty against any structural corrosion because you're not you're not going to have those issues uh, they when when they make galvanized steel they infuse it with zinc which makes it a lot stronger and more rust resistant you also notice that anywhere you've got that galvanized steel it's coated in this vortex lining it's very similar to like a bed liner and so it'll help protect your trailer for years and years to come. You'll notice it's in on the front here where it gets where you get a lot of road blast as well as in the stall area and on those those uprights uh, for your trailer. So you'll see this galvanized steel in, or this uh, vortex lining in quite a few places. This little pink ribbon here means this trailer has been inspected through our shop. So every new and used trailer actually gets inspected when it comes in so that we make sure if there's anything that needs addressed it's addressed right away and the customer doesn't have to deal with it down the line so this little pink ribbon means it's been through our shop all right under here you've got your full size spare tire this trailer we did upgrade to aluminum wheels so there's 16 inch aluminum wheels on this trailer steel wheels are standard on the bullseyes but if you wanted to upgrade, it's a lot cheaper to do it right in the beginning. So on some of our closet tack models and our bigger trailers, we have been just going in and upgrading those wheels right away so the customer doesn't have to do it down the line. As far as dimensions of this trailer, this trailer is a really nice size to pull around. It's 18 feet, three inches on the floor, six, nine wide and seven tall. So you're not gonna fit your really big warm bloods in here probably, but this is a great for those that are hauling really standard size horses, want to be super maneuverable to either get in and out of shows or to trail heads. So this is a really nice little compact trailer to pull around. The color is a charcoal metallic. Logan offers eight different colors for their bullseye models. And most of them don't even have an upcharge for color. So if you're looking to maybe have something a little flashier than a standard white trailer, just check and see what we've got on order, and if it's far enough along, we can usually change that color for you. So in this tack room here, this is your front dressing room, and you'll notice this wall is L'd out here for that closet tack. So even though you have kind of two separate areas, you're not adding a lot of length to your trailer. This is only a five foot short wall here, so that's why you're seeing that it's a really compact 18 feet, three inches on the floor. Up in the nose, you've got windows on either side. LED lights are all around on this trailer. They're just on a switch or on individual switches, depending on which one you want to use. And then everything is carpeted on the floor in the gooseneck wall and, and nose here. You'll notice more of that vortex lining. So 
you've got anything rubbing against this, it's going to keep it looking nice for a long time to come. In your tack room here, you've got tons of bridle hooks lining the walls there. Everything's carpeted behind. And we actually don't even have any carpet or bridle hooks on the horse side for them to have to listen to. So it's going to be nice and quiet for those animals riding around in this trailer. Your saddle rack is a swing out saddle rack. This is a three horse, so it came with three tiers, but most people tend to have an extra saddle. So there is an additional space there if you wanted to either move this top one down or just get an extra saddle tier. Four tier blank, swing out blanket bar on the door here. Makes it really easy to load and unload your blankets. And then a nice little brush box here that is aluminum with carpet on the bottom. So you can throw all your grab and go brushes, fly sprays, anything like that right there. Super easy to clean out. And then something else we upgraded this trailer on is that we put a little corner water tank. We've been trying to do water tanks on almost all of our bullseyes. It's just so much easier to add straight from the factory. And we find that even if people never use them, it's a great little resale value for them. It's always nice to have the option to bring your water from home if you need to. You never know along the road where you're gonna be able to get water. So a lot of people like having that option. On this hip side here, you do have bus windows with an LED light right above where you would tie your horses. We've got LED lights, pedal stool lights on each side of this trailer. So you're gonna be able to see what you're doing if you're tacking up at night. Here's a better picture of those aluminum wheels that we've got on this trailer. Like I said, steel is standard, but the aluminum is a really nice upgrade. This trailer's running on two 6,000 pound rubber torsion axles. So you've got plenty of axle underneath this trailer for what you'll be hauling. And then these bullseye models come with an upgraded extruded or uh, corrugated side sheets here. Just really dresses up the side of the trailer and it takes a little bit more abuse than this 050 aluminum sheeting down below. Door hold backs are standard on every door. So if you're loading in a windier environment, I probably wouldn't try and use the hold backs in hurricane force winds but it's going to help make sure that if you're on a slope like we are here, that door is not going to come and slam, slam your horse in the butt as you're trying to load and unload. Another load light up on the rear there. Something else we upgraded on this floor, or sorry, on this trailer is the floor. So for your bullseyes, the standard is the, or the wood planks coated in vortex lining. We have the option to upgrade to the aluminum slatted fo floors. And if you wanted to go one step further, you could do the sure grip on top, which is a draining floor. This one we just did mats, but it makes it really easy if you wanna go in and add that poly last or sure grip after the fact, it's already set up to do so. So those aluminum slats are coated in that vortex lining, so you're not gonna have to worry about urine sitting on them and corroding and pitting in, but it's gonna make the longevity of your trailer floor a lot better. So in the stall area, you've got roof vents over each stall. They're two-way roof vents, so they go either direction depending on which way you want the airflow moving. This last stall has a telescoping divider, which is a really nice little feature. Because if you need to, you can clip all of these back and run with more of a box stall really easy to operate these dividers. You don't have to worry about messing with a pin that you have to drop in. Uh, they're really, really simple to use. You'll notice these lower kick walls are once again lined in that vortex coating. It's gonna make it look a lot nicer for years to come. It's gonna really hold up well to abuse. So as we work our way around here, I'll get to some people's favorite features on these bullseyes are these drop down windows. So if you've ever had the piano style hinge with the prefab windows, you know what a pain those can be. They tend to tweak over time. They're still expensive to replace and it's always questionable whether you should be running with those down. These are nice built out windows that are framed in. So these drop downs, as you can see, the wind is not gonna be able to just easily tug them up. These jail bars drop down nice and easy. So if you needed to throw more food or anything for your horses, 
you can always drop those down. And then this is something that people go crazy over is these little fly screens here. So these screens over these jail bars, they're just velcroed on. So if you've got a horse that's a little bit mouthy and is more likely to tear them up, you can easily take that off, just throw a fly mask on them and still get a lot of airflow for those horses without having to worry about them ripping these up. But a lot of people go crazy over these. The actual drop downs are very easy to operate. So especially if you're not super tall, you don't have to worry about getting all the way up to that latch over there. You just pull this middle handle, pull it straight down, and you have the ability to open and close those drop downs. Very simple to use. I would say, hands down, that's probably one of the favorite features noted on these bullseyes. The last thing I wanted to point out on this trailer is that if you are trying to hook up at night, it's a black, uh, black wall here. You're trying to back up. Your lights are only gonna do so good. You actually have the nice little feature of having an additional LED light right under here that you can angle. So it'll throw a lot of light here on the back of your trailer, make it really easy to back up at night. And there's a switch just right here. So really simple to use. Some of the things that people will go in and upgrade on these bullseyes, every now and again, they'll put a hydraulic jack on. They'll do that sure grip or they'll change their colors. You don't have a ton of different options to change, but Logan has already upgraded these bullseyes to be really well usable and have really great resale value. So if there's something that you're looking for specifically, give us a call. We can put together uh, an order, or see if we can tweak one of the ones that we have coming in and you can have it exactly how you want. If you decided you needed to go warm blood height or have some more fancier features, you can always step into the Riot model. That is their completely custom model and we can build those as well. So for those of you that are wanting to check out this trailer, just go to transwest.com. The stock number is 5N220274. It's a 2022 Logan Coach Bullseye three horse gooseneck. I'd be more than happy to answer any questions you guys have. My name is Callie Say. My phone number is 970-309-6368. That number is a number you can text if you don't want to talk. So if you guys have any questions, please give me a shout. If you're looking for a four horse in this setup, there's a good chance we've got one on order or sitting here on the lot, depending on when you watch this video. So check that out. We'd love, we'd love to work with you guys. So I hope everybody has a really great day. Thanks for tuning in.